Hello, my name is Cornelius Kölbel, and today I will show you an interesting feature of Privacy Idea 2.15, which is the user attribute mapping. The user attribute mapping can be used for um, extended configuration and of your firewalls and VPN. Okay, this is how you know Privacy Idea. You can see user details which are fetched from the user store. In Privacy ID 2.15, there's a new policy in the authorization scope, which is called add user in response. This does the following. In case of a successful authentication, Privacy ID will add user details to the response. I have a user Hans here and he is trying to authenticate against the API. <clears throat> Hans authenticates successfully. We see which token was used to authenticate and we have this additional user tree here. This is only visible as mentioned when you activate this policy. Now the authenticating client can use these user information to do additional things. But the usual user attributes uh, do not look very interesting to firewalls and VPNs. Because of this in Privacy Idea 2.15, you can also change the user mapping. You know, the user mapping is used to map attributes within the user store to attributes in Privacy Idea. So, for example, Privacy Idea uses the um, ID, user ID, which is located in the database column ID. The username is located in the database column username. So let's look here. We do not need phone. So we will use the database column phone to map to, let's say, an ID class. And we will use the database column mobile, which we also do not need to map to a privacy idea attribute. Let's call it um, IP address. So what happens now is that internally privacy idea uses the data in the column mobile to be used as a IP address. When we look at the details of user Hans, we can see what happens here. The details of the user Hans have changed. Now we see the IP address, which we configured in the mapping, and we see the class. So let's uh, enter some uh, interesting things here. Um, and some IP address. Okay. When the user Hans now authenticates, of course, the new mapping will be used. So let's see the user again authenticates. <clears throat> and now you can see the user details contain the IP address and contain the class. Now the new um, the new free radius plugin can also use these return values. To use these return values with a free radius plugin, we need to configure it. There's a new section mapping and mapping user. And we can 
I already prepared this, as you can see, we can, oops, we can map the privacy idea class attribute to a radius attribute, to any radius attribute, and we can map any privacy idea attribute, I choose the attribute IP address to the any radius attribute. When we now run the free radius server and when we try to authenticate via radius, what happens is that the free radius plugin will receive these this response from privacy idea and will map the content of the IP address and the class attribute to the just configured radius attributes. So let's try to authenticate. Okay, and here you see we authenticated successfully and the radius response contains the configured user attributes. The IP address, which is configured with the user, the serial number, and the class in a hex string format. Now these attributes in the radius response can be used by your firewall and by your VPN to put your users into certain group and allow access to certain sub uh, subnetworks. I hope you like this user mapping. Thanks for watching, stay tuned, and thanks for subscribing.